Now that Child World Extension version 8 is released, I thought of doing a quick tutorial about how to download this mod, and what to do if you've got the previous version of Child World Extended. Firstly, you will need Sonic Adventure 2 for Steam. The Adventure 2 Battle DLC is completely optional. Now you will need to locate the Steam folder for Sonic Adventure 2, as seen here. And it's usually found within your program files, located in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Sonic Adventure 2. Now, as you can see here, this is a clean slate without any past version of Chow World Extended or the mod loader. So we're just going to download these off Game Banana. So all the relevant links, it will be provided in the video description. So here in Game Banana, we will need to scroll down to the download link. Just keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here, so just keep scrolling down to our download link. And you should be able to find it right here. I suggest you click on Manual Download. And once that page loads, click on the Download button. Now, in order to load and enable Chow World Extended, you will need to download the most recent version of the Sonic Adventure 2 mod loader which you can access here by hovering your mouse over the Sonic Adventure 2 Mod Loader button and then clicking here. Once the page loads, we should be on the download page for Sonic Adventure 2 Mod Loader. And then click on the manual download button and then download right here. Once they have both been downloaded, we'll need to extract these files into the Steam common folder for Sonic Venture 2. Again, this can be found in your program files, as I show here, under Steam, Steam Apps Common, and Sonic Adventure 2. And this will be where we will place the mod loader as well as Chow World Extended. Now that the mod loader has downloaded, we will extract the folder straight into Sonic Adventure 2 folder. The purple icon is the Mod Manager application, and two additional folders have been added, which is Mods and Programming. Now I'll just remove this zip file here. The Mods folder here will be where the Chatwood Extended mod will be placed, as well as any other mods that we may have um, that we want to use, such as other texture mods. Once Chatwood Extended has downloaded, extract its folders into the Mods folder. So here are all the related mods for Chow World Extended. And I'm going to copy and paste this into the mods folder. Now to enable these mods, we will need to open up the mod manager. You may be prompted to update or do other stuff. Um, just select yes for everything. And you should have your list of mods showing here. As you can see, nothing is currently enabled. So we'll need to tick the boxes to enable them. The main one you want to tick is the one that says Chow World Extended. However, it can slow down the mod manager once it has been ticked. So I suggest enabling this one last just to speed up the load times. I'm just turning on some codes as an example here. Um, then click on Chow World Extended. And then once that's clicked, you'll take a bit of time to load. And then you might need some extra time to load some other codes here. But there you go. It's all, it's all there now. Once we're done with our mods, we can go into the Codes tab to enable additional features based on these mods. Now there's a lot of different codes here that you, for you to test out. So as you can see here, there are a lot of codes specific to Chow World Extended. Uh, more details about what each code does is explained on the Game Banana page and on, in the forum link. So just enable any codes that really take your fancy. Once you're ready, click Save. Or you can just uh, save and play to start up the game with all your mods and codes enabled. If you have the previous version of Chow World Extended, which was version 7.5, you will need to update your mod manager using the same link as before. So just remove the old one and of course download Chow World Extended version 8 like we did before. Another thing to keep in mind is that the Sonic Adventure 2 app that you now need to use is the original one that came with Steam. Version 7.5 used its own Sonic Adventure 2 app to enable color mixing, which is now obsolete. The one I'm referring to is 20,809 kilobytes. 
So make sure you're not using this one anymore. The correct one you should be using is 21,347 kilobytes. Make sure this program is correctly named as Sonic 2 App so applications like Fusion Shell Editor and the Launcher can find the correct program. So once you've done all that, you should be good to go.